All right, I'm going to take one more quick video here on another topic that is uh, very important to getting a good quality print on a Datamax printer, especially with these Brady RFID tags. They're thicker, they're kind of spongy, right? And you can have some serious um, misprint problems if you don't adjust the print head pressure properly. Notice on the printer itself, it's a four inch wide printer like a lot of these thermal printers are, but the tags themselves can be uh, either this, what they call the medium size alloy tag or the the large alloy tag. And even with the large, you're really not going over the whole uh, four inch wide distance here. So you can have, uh, imagine you're trying to sandwich this material in between or clamp it in between this bottom roller and the top section here, right? So you you can very easily get um, something that you're, you know, the, the printer's biting down on uh, with uneven pressure, All right? Whoops, I got a little ribbon wrinkle in there as well, so I got to get rid of that. Try to try to push out that wrinkle and rotate the ribbon until you get rid of it. There we go. Now, now we can actually put the head down. And you'll see it's matching up down here, right? But if you if you look here, this this edge here doesn't have anything under it. It's actually got a gap. And if you're not careful, you can actually bias the pressure too much in one direction. And what you'll end up with then is um, maybe a misprint kind of like this. You'll have on the left-hand side, uh, it doesn't print well. And so we want to adjust the printer pressure uh, more evenly so that it actually, you can see the data matrix code, still got an issue with the C there. But um, by adjusting the pressure so that it's a little bit more on the left hand side i'll get at least a decent barcode print and we do that in a couple ways one is let's loosen up the, the ribbon a little bit so you can see there's two green adjustments on the top and this is um uh, there's springs in here you can adjust this pressure see there's a plus and a minus and we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and push it down and rotate it all the way left so you've got the most pressure here on this side and since we really don't want to have any pressure on this side because there's nothing there. We're going to loosen it up. So we're going to raise it. You can see this is actually raised up now. It's not actually pressed down in it. So we rotate, press down, rotate all the way to the right, that minus sign, and then let go. Okay, so that's the first section you're going to adjust. And then the second one, and this is really important, is this bias one. I'm going to take a shot right from the front. And as I rotate this, do you see that the print head is kind of doing this kind of thing you know it's going this way so uh, take a look at that again see so this this way it's it's flat all the way here but it's probably now going to leave a misprint on this side so what we want to do is bias this so it's got more pressure on this side by doing this i actually went all the way over i don't typically do that for the large tags you can come back a few clicks from that from that far position. But for the medium tags that are even narrower, right? They're, they're not even going halfway across the full width. I actually do go all the way bias that way. So it looks a little crooked on the print head, but this way you make sure that you get a decent print uh, all the way on the far left here.